morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, March the 13th. She's back with us, Diana Moxon from the Columbia Art League. Hello, Paul. Here I am again. Yeah, good to have you here. What, what do we got going on for the Columbia Art League? Oh, right we have a very delicious thing going on. We have a food show coming up. Every year we do a show based on food and our relationship to it. So this year, I have to come up with new and interesting titles every year. This year it's called Comestible, which means edible. Comestible. Comestible, yes. Okay. <clears throat> so that's the show title this year. So people can submit work or have submitted work about food, drink, anything we imbibe or eat, or our relationship with food or the food industry. So that opens on March the 14th with the uh -huh. official opening reception on Friday the 17th. And you're going to have food at the opening we reception. We will have food from room 38 at the official opening on March the 17th. So yes, St. Patrick's Day and also opening of Comestible. Okay, so the work that's submitted, are you talking about paintings? Are you talking about sculpture yes yes and yes a everything. little bit of everything so anything like, that is artwork that has to do with food. food exactly all of our shows we try and have titles that are accessible to all media and all different abilities so uh, you know we never do shows that are just photography or just sculpture we put a show title out there and then artists respond in whatever medium they choose to work so mm -hmm. you'll find photographs and you'll find paintings and sculptures and all sorts of things there um, but it'll all have a food component. So how many uh, how many different entries or exhibits do you think you'll have? Well, we, we usually have uh, in the gallery, what we have space for is around 80 to 90. So it's always between 80 and 90 artworks that we have in, in shows at the Art League. But what's extra exciting about the Comestible show is it gives us a chance to do a fundraiser called Let Them Eat Art, which is coming up in April, on April the 13th, where we invite 10 local chefs to come in and choose an artwork in the exhibit as an inspiration for a dish of tapas, like bite-sized food. And then on the evening, the chefs come down and they're there in the gallery with their food and you buy a ticket. We only sell 100 tickets, so we always sell out. And then you can go around and you can taste each of the foods and you can meet the chefs and you can see the artwork that inspired the food. And it's a fun, okay, so, edible so, evening. So the, this work that's on display, the... Comestible. Comestibles. <laughs> it's on display, then the chef comes and looks at one of the pieces of artwork and decides to put together a dish of some type. Or a little bite, like a little tapas, yeah, yeah, little okay. bite of food, yeah. Based on based on that, so it might it might look the same, or it might have the same ingredients. So they may choose an, an image, a, image about salmon, and then do like something salmon related, or you know whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, so it's always fun to come so down. So how many and chefs eat, will eat you have art. participate in? That? Ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we always work with the young chefs at the Columbia Area Career Center with Brooke Harlan. So we love having the young chefs come in too and, and do something okay. for that. So that will be in April. That's in April. So but the official opening is March the 17th. And how long will the show run? Through the beginning of May. Okay. It's got plenty of time to come and see it. So you got March and April. Mm -hmm to see it and to come and taste the food <laughs> that goes with the artwork. And can people buy tickets ahead of time for they that? They can do. They just give me a call or they can ring me up. Ring you up. Um, and what's your phone number? 573-443-8838. Okay. Diana Moxon, Columbia Art League. Thank you so much for coming by. And I know uh, in the back of your mind, you're also prepared. Well, you've been preparing for a year. <laughs> Art in the park. Art yep. in the park. June Coming 3rd up. and 4th, not so long now, only three months away. Yeah, it will be here before you know it. it Thank will. you, Diana. Always a Thank pleasure you, to Paul. have you here from the Columbia Art League. What, what's your number to ring you up on? 573-443-8838. Got it. All right. Now, I turn to uh, Mari Scala. Good to have you here, Mari. Thank from you, the uh, You're representing the uh, League of Women Voters. That's right. And you ladies have been really busy this year <laughs> and been. last year. We have now, been. you have a couple of events coming up that uh, you want to invite uh, our, our listeners and viewers to come to, right? That's right. Um, on Tuesday, March the 14th, we're going to have a candidate forum. You know, we have another election coming up, April 4th. Uh -huh. It seems like we this, just... <laughs> yeah, there's a local election. <laughs> local election. And so we're going to have a candidate forum for all four of the races that are included, included or all of the races that are included in that ballot on April 4th. That is, um, there's a, two city council seats, wards one and five. Mm -hmm. And there are four people running for the school board, and we'll each get to vote for three this of This is Columbia them. you're talking about. Columbia School Board, yes. Okay. Well, and, other, other communities will have their local elections also, correct? Um, I think that is a universal election day for local yeah. 
yeah. uh, ballot issues and rate. And so ballot what, what, whatever so. community you live in or city you live in, listening to us, you, the election day will be April the 4th. April 4th, that's okay. right. So you're going to have the forum on Tuesday night. March mm -hmm. 14th. That's right. And you're going to have all the, the candidates the will be there. And we will have all the Columbia candidates right, there right. for school board, for the hospital board of trustees, and for the two city council races, the first okay. and fifth wards. So um, we have a lot of that? decisions to make. It's at 6.30 with refreshments served before that at 6 o'clock. League of Women well, Voters Famous half an Cookies. Hour, it we did. The refreshments well, are at 6.30 and the mm -hmm. events at 7. You're absolutely right. It's a, starting a half hour early earlier just simply because we have so many races and so many candidates okay. to cover. And then what do you so, have on Wednesday? And then on Wednesday, March 15th, we're get, we have a we're offering a workshop to help people become more comfortable with communicating with their elected officials. It's called Crafting Your Message to Elected Officials. That is, if you can get and, your elected officials to answer the phone. Well, this uh, is true, yeah. but, but the first step is to work up the nerve and know what you're going to say and how to say it, and that's what we're going to work on. You know, so. what, I, what I always tell people, because I think it's so important to communicate with the elected officials, mm -hmm. And I and so people say, well, I, I'm concerned. Am I bothering them? I say, no, no, no. You're not bothering them. Remember, they're working for us. They are. We are paying their salary with the taxes that we pay, That's exactly and we have right. a right to communicate with every one of them. That's exactly. And they have an right. obligation to listen to us as to what we have to say. It's important for us to communicate. In a uh, in a civil in a civil manner, being polite, mm -hmm. but they also have an obligation to listen to yeah. to what the constituents say. That's very And true. sometimes I don't think there is that give and take mm -hmm. like it should be. Well, we want to encourage as many people as possible to express their views. I think that's the only way that our elected officials know what the public really wants. Mm -hmm. So um, this workshop will be at 7 p.m. at the Columbia Public Library. Right. And unlike most That'll of be our on functions, Wednesday. on Wednesday, March the 15th, yeah. Okay. And um, unlike most of our events, you do need to sign up in advance if you want to be able to sit at a table and work on crafting your message. Okay, so how do and they sign so up? So sign up by calling the library at 5. 573-443-3161. Okay, you got it. And that'll be uh, for the Wednesday event. For the Wednesday uh, event. How to it, communicate with your elected officials. Right. And you, you can show up without reserving a spot, but you'll, you won't you will have a table to work on. All right. Thank you, Mari. Appreciate it. We're out of time for today, tomorrow, nutrition and diet and MU theater. We'll see you then. <laughs>